College Board 10, no calculator number 18. In this scenario, Juan purchased an antique that had a value of $200 at the time of purchase. Now this uh, antique is going to go up by 10% each year. It's, an, it's appreciating in value. So after one year, the value of the item would be 200 times 1.1. And then after a second year, we can multiply by 1.1 again. Now if you're wondering what the 1.1 stands for, the idea here is that after a year, Juan's uh, item is 100% of its previous value plus 10% more. Now 100% uh, written as a decimal is 1, 10% written as a decimal is 0.1, and that's how we get that 1.1. So we could write 200 times 1.1 for the first year of appreciation times 1.1 for the second year of appreciation. They say that that's going to equal 200 times A, and we're supposed to find the value of A. Oh, okay, I think I know what's going on here. Looks like we don't really have to worry too much about the 200s, because that's on either side of the equation. A is going to be whatever 1.1 times 1.1 is. Now, by the way, some people might have written this as 200 times 1.1 squared equals 200a, and that's equivalent. 1.1 um, times 1.1, or 1.1 squared, that's the number that we're after. Now I know that 1.1 times 1.1 is 1.21, so that's the number that I'm going to report for my value of a. a equals 1.21, so that's what I'm going to grid in on my test booklet.